this lesson is about accounting concepts according to your syllabus you all have to learn some concept to prepare financial statements we have to use some accounting concepts the assumptions that are made in the preparation and presentation of financial statements are known as accounting concepts the accounting information prepared by the business must have a uniform in nature there is a relationship between the accounting concepts used in the recording of transactions and presentation of financial statements so simply whenever you are doing financial accounting there are some assumptions that we make those assumptions are called accounting concepts first is business entity business entity concept it is assumed that the business is an independent unit separated from its owners for the accounting purposes accordingly the transactions made with the owners are separately accounted example capital invested and drawings so whenever we are doing accounting we are doing a assumption that business and the owner are two separate entities second concept is money measurement concept business transactions which can be measured using the currency of that country are recorded under this concept transactions which cannot be measured in monetary terms are not recorded so whenever you do accounting you have to use a monetary value so in sri lanka we use rupees like that whatever the monetary value you have to use whenever you are doing accounting that is a second concept that you have to consider number 3 historical cost concept business transactions are recorded at the value at which the transactions that have taken place accordingly assets should be recorded at the cost at which it was acquired and liabilities are recorded at the value prevailed at the time the liability arose example a land purchased on 11 2015 for 5 million is recorded as the same on 31st 12 2020 as well so if you have bought a non current asset few years back even that cost you have to take it when you are preparing your current year sofp statement of financial position instances where a deviation from historical cost concept take place there are two situations where we are not using historical cost con concept the first one is when property plant and equipment is recorded at revalued values so in there are some situations we revalue non current asset in that situation you are not thinking of this concept historical cost you have to use the revalued amount the second instance when inventory is recorded at net realizable value so as you know you can write, you can uh, according to the lk's number 2 we are recording the lower value of cost or nrv so here when inventory is recorded at net realizable value even you are not going through the historical cost concept fourth one going concern concept the business is normally assumed as a going concern that is continuity in operation for a foreseeable future it is assumed that the enterprise has neither the intention nor the necessity of liquidation of its operations example recording non current assets which can be used more than one year when you are doing accounting you can't think that you are going to wind up your business in the near future it will 
go on for a foreseeable future. That's called going concern concept. Assets are categorizing as current and non-current. So assets we divide into current assets and non-current assets. Non-current assets are the assets which you can use in more than one year. Current assets are the assets which you can use within that year. Liabilities are categorizing as current and non-current due to this going concern concept. Number five, periodic concept or we call it as periodicity concept. Under this concept, the performances of an entity is measured and reported in relation to each time period. In other words, it provides a basis for dividing the continuous lifetime of the business into periods and prepares financial statements. According to the going concern concept, we assume that the business will go on for a foreseeable future. But when it comes to a periodic concept, they say that life period, you have to divide into small parts Normally, we call it as financial year. Financial year means 12 months. So example, we prepare a statement of profit or loss for the year ended 31st, 3, 2021. After 12 months, we are preparing financial statements. Statement of financial position as at 31st, 3, 2021. Realization concept. Revenue recognition concept. This concept requires that income should not be recognized unless it is realized. Accordingly, the income should be identified when it is earned legally. Example, sale of goods, rendering services, interest income, profits. Where goods have been sold, but those have not been physically taken away. Where goods have been sold, but those have not been physically taken away. Here, the ownership has been exchanged. Though they have not taken inventory out of your stores, we have already sold it. Here, the ownership has been changed. Therefore, it is considered as an income. Where goods have been sent on basis of sale or return. The meaning of sale or return means you are giving some stock to another party, either to sell it or return it. Here, since the ownership of the goods has not exchanged, it is not recognized as an income. We didn't transfer the ownership. So we just gave some stock to that outside person, another party, and we said either to sell it or return it back. So in that situation, it is not recognized as an income. Number seven, prudence concept. According to this concept, all expenses and liabilities are fully provided, irrespective of whether the amount is known with certainty or is the best estimate amount. Example, accumulated depreciation, allowance for expected losses, record inventory at lower of cost or NRV. Number eight. So when it comes to prudence con concept, whenever you are making a provision, you can consider it as a prudence concept. Accruals concept. The income and expenditure of the period should be recognized, although they were received or not, paid or not. The meaning of accruals is whether you paid it or not, whether you received it or not. Accordingly, Income should be recognized when it is earned and expenditure should be recognized when it is incurred. That is why accrued 
and prepayments we enter into the profit or loss statement. If there is a accrued amount, you are adding to the paid value. If there's a prepaid, you are deducting from that value. Examples, so simply we are making your profit or loss statement on accrual basis. Example, accruals, prepayments, receivables, received in advance, debtors and creditors. Debtors and creditors also, debtors, they didn't pay us yet, but still we consider them as debtors. Creditors, we didn't pay yet, we have to pay. So it's accruals concept. Ninth one, matching concept. When calculating the profit for an accounting period, the income should be compared with the total expense of that period. Example, identifying bad debts and discount allowed in relation to income received from debtors. Comparison of sale and cost of sales, annual depreciation. When it comes to comparison of sales and sales is an income, cost of sale is how much of cost you have incurred to gain that sale. So it's called the matching concept. 10. Consistency concept. The accounting policy should be applied in consistent basis from one year to the other year. An accounting policy, once it is not permitted to be changed, except an extreme situation where a change is necessary to show a true and fair view. When you are using a policy, suddenly you can't change that policy. Example, policy of charging depreciation, which is accounted continuously for the proceeding years in general. For example, when we are doing depreciation, if you have used straight line method, suddenly you can't change it to the reducing balance method. So there should be a consistent basis when you are doing accounting. 11th one, disclosure concept. Important information or data used in preparing financial statements should be disclosed. Accordingly, depreciation policies, which method you have used, whether you have used straight line method or reducing balance method, and assets valuation, whether you have used first in, first out, or weighted average method, should be disclosed. Twelve, materiality concept. All the items which materially affect to the financial position and profitability of the business should be included in financial statements. In other words, assets of comparatively low value are considered as expenses. For example, when you take a stapler machine, Though you can use it more than one year, but still we are considering it as an expense and we are entering under administration expenses stationary. 13th, substance over form. Recognition of an asset acquired under finance lease with its corresponding liabilities. Even though the property does not legally belong to the business, if the receipt of economic benefit is by the business, it is recognized as an asset. Though you have bought it on finance lease, you are making an income out of it. That is why you have to consider your lease properties as assets. So those are the concepts that you all have to learn for your syllabus. Here I have given you some questions which I have taken from past, paper, past papers. Before that, when it comes to these entries, you all have to remember this one. Have to remember Similarly, the recording of one transaction incorporates several of accounting concepts. When you take one transaction, 
not only one concept is there there are so many so you have to identify when it comes to the question mcq question you have to identify which is a more suitable concept so when you take here recording of depreciation it include matching concept prudence going concern periodicity money measurement so when it comes to all most all the transaction money measurement concept is there when it comes to recording of inventory prudence whether you are using cost or nrv matching concept money measurement concept recording of expenses matching periodicity accrual money measurement so you can't say exactly this is the only concept that is for this transaction it is a combination recording of incomes realization accrual matching periodic money measurement property plant and equipment historical cost going concern disclosure money measurement concept so these are the mcq questions i have taken number 1 even though the small equipment can be used more than a year the cost of them are written off in the statement of profit or loss during the year in which it was bought which accounting concept matches this incident even though the small equipment which you can use it more than one year you are writing off in your statement of profit or loss materiality concept number 2 what is the underlying accounting concept that provides a basis for the depreciation of non current assets basis why are you depreciating because it's going concern the answer is going concern concept number 3 the accounting concept that provides a basis for the recognition of part of cost of goods purchased during a year as cost of sales and expense and remain as a year end stock as an asset so cost of sales you enter under cost of sales adjustment whereas closing stock you are entering in your sofp under current asset the concept is matching concept number 4 the accounting concept that provides a basis for the measurement of stock at the lower of cost and nrv is prudence number 5 an enterprise proposes to value its assets at their current market value to pro to provide more realistic value in books what accounting concept does this proposal violate historical cost according to the historical cost concept they say you have to you have to value your non current asset based on the cost number 6 nimal commenced a mining business in the year 2015 he is he is waiting till the mine is exhausted to determine the financial results indicate which of the following accounting concept is violated primarily due to this decision he has to make financial statements after 12 months so which accounting concept that they have violated periodicity you can't wait till the end you have to divide your accounting period you have to divide your lifetime into accounting periods and prepare financial statements
A plot of land bought in the year 2017 for 15 million was recorded at its revalued amount of 30 million in the statement of financial position as at 31st 3, 2021. Which of the following accounting concept is not followed in this situation? Historical cost, because they have revalued this land. So we have to show the revalued amount in our statement of financial position. Eight, a provision of 150,000 for doubtful debt was included in the financial statements of Amara PLC. Which of the following accounting concept provides a basis for this adjustment? Prudence. Doubtful debt, you have no idea whether that debtor will pay money or not. So you are providing some amount of money. That's called the prudence. Number nine, the statement of financial position of Amara Sen and Sons as at 31st 3, 2021 showed 500,000 rupees and 200,000 rupees as balance of debtors and creditors respectively. Which of the following is the underlying accounting concept for recognition of above debtors and creditors? Accrual. The answer is accrual. Ten, the accounting concept that allows an organization to record its transaction and events independently of other parties. The other party means from the owner. The concept is entity concept, business entity. 11. Which of the following statement, statements is are correct in relation to the application of accounting concepts? A. The basis for recognition of debtors and creditors is provided by the accrual concept. The basis for measuring inventories at lower of cost and net realizable value is provided by the matching concept. The business for classification of assets and liabilities as current and non-current in the statement of financial position is provided by the going concern concept. Now, when it comes, the answer is A and C only. B, the basis for measuring inventories at lower of cost and net realizable value is provided by prudence concept. So that is why B is wrong. 12. Which of the following accounting concept provide the basis to recognize inventory at lower of cost and net realizable value in the financial statements? Prudence and matching. Prudence and matching. Cost. Cost of inventory, you have to enter into cost of sale adjustment as closing stock. The lower value, you have to enter into your SOFP under current asset. So the answer is prudence and matching. Thirteen. A. In this question, they are asking what is the relevant concept that you have to use. Making a provision for warranties provided on goods sold. Provision for warranty. Prudence concept. Recording a building obtained on lease as an asset in lessee's books. Substance over form. Recognizing depreciation as an expense in the profit or loss account. Matching concept. Presenting assets as current and non-current in the statement of financial position going concern. 14. Which of the following statement statements is are correct in relation to application of accounting concepts in the preparation of financial statements? Equity is identified as a separate element in financial statement in line with the entity concept. Going concern concept provides the basis for classification of assets and liabilities 
as current and non-current in the financial statements. Recognition of depreciation for each period in the income statement as in line with matching concept. Answer is all three, all A, B and C, all are correct. So if you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.